Right guys, you know how it is. Mombasa isn't complete without uh, a madafu. Oh. Shahid, salam alaikum. Welcome to Forodhani restaurant. Please enjoy your meal. Hey guys, welcome to Food Style Pod by Act Life for an Act Life. And you know how it is. In Mombasa, we gotta start off with a madafu, man. You know, can't come to Mombasa and not have a madafu. Ooh, this is super cool. And as you can see, there's some delicious treats. Where I am, I'm at Fordani there at Old Town. Gotta to find out what Fordani means, what kind of food they serve, and what this area is all about. But as for now, as you can see, some some really good food over here. Now that's the that's the like the Fordani. Uh, these are the prawns over here. It's really, really awesome. I've got a platter, you know, they said they're gonna give me something really, really different. And I've given you the platter, look at that. That's the pilau over there. Uh, that's the chicken, and I guess that's the mutton pilau. So all this good food uh, served with some delicious chutney. And not forgetting the barbecue, look at that, man. I mean, seriously, I didn't know all this awesome, really good food was over here. And what is all this food, how they make it? So many questions rising in my head. Uh, I'm gonna be telling you all that. And check this out, you know. This is a seafood platter. I can see some lobster and there's, there's just so much happening guys. And you know what, the focus I wanted to be more on the food at Fordani. I know the views are spectacular. Why don't you take a look at the views and then after this, we come and talk to them and find out more about Fordani and the food we are eating. So tell me, chef, what, what are we having here today? Okay, here we've got platter, seafood platter. Seafood platter. Yes, lobster, some calamari, yeah. uh, some vegetables, and uh, its accompaniment is French fries. French fries, okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. And the other platter is the... Another platter is the barbecue platter. Barbecue platter. Uh, which consists of steak grilled, barbecue wings, chicken uh -huh. wings, uh -huh. tikka, fish yeah. tikka, uh, chicken tikka and uh mushkaki. mushkaki yeah awesome what about the final big huge platter yeah. over there the final one is the local cuisine that's the swahili swahili you guys are specialized for swahili food yes yeah. huh? so that one is uh, chicken biryani mutton pilau and uh, mutton biryani so sania tell me uh good to see you again yeah for adani what, what, what is for adani and how did it all come about? Um, so uh, the name was inspired by a nearby port that was that's just next door. Okay. So uh, uh, for Adani is called Customs. Customs. Yeah, it actually wow. comes from the name Customs. Oh, so yeah, so it used to be quite a big port in the area, and uh, it's nearby. It's by the seafront, so they named it for Adani. And I, I think it's more to do with the seafront. Yeah. The fact that it's um, a seafront restaurant. It's in a signature area, the old town area of Mombasa. So it's quite a combination of different things. There's the historical aspect, yeah. there's the cultural aspect, yeah. and you know, the authentic cuisine. Awesome, of Mombasa. awesome. All right, let's see this, guys. 
Ooh. <laughs> this is like a coastal flavor. Yeah, yeah? very coastal. Looks like it, and you know how it is, man. Seafood. That that's that prawn is like massive, and uh, this is this is awesome, man. A lot of Mombasa dishes actually contain coconut. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think the rice should be coconut rice. As oh, well. it is. Yeah. Nice, bro. You're lucky, Sanya. You get all this good food, man. <laughs> Ooh. Why don't you start first, you know, and then I'm gonna dig in. All right. I, I like to get messy a bit, you know, so I'm just gonna let the lady do the lady <laughs> yeah. stuff first, you know. <laughs> With the pepper. Yeah. Let's see your reaction on this one. Has to be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's eat. Mushkaki. Mm. Nice marination. It's not very chilly. I guess maybe because you get a lot of tourists over here. Yeah? You can't. But we usually, like, if someone wants it a bit stronger, mild. All right, so welcome to Forodani and I'm gonna leave you to your meal and I hope you enjoy yourself um, If anyone wants to come we're located in Old Town in Mombasa and we've got a beautiful view Amazing food great staff you name it the whole experience is great. So please welcome Guys, the food at Faradani is just wow. First and foremost, it's very, very affordable. I mean, you could, you'll be surprised at the prices and the portions. I mean, the, the portions are going to surprise you and the prices that you'll just be like, oh my God. Uh, the variety is massive. You know? I even got a nice, cute uh, naan in my platter. I would recommend the platter whenever you go there because it gives you the best of both worlds. You know, a bit of everything is there. And you know, if you want flavorful food, coastal flavors, especially with fantastic views then Faradani is the place for you and you know what their food wow Right guys, Faradani isn't complete without biryani and I've got a platter which has got three kinds of biryanis That's actually one is a pilau rather uh, What's the pilau? That's the pilau. Look at it. That's really really cool uh, Nice, uh, you know, and it's it's like made to custom because it's not a full portion. Uh, that's the mutton uh, biryani some kachumbari and the chicken biryani and of course the uh, look at that, that's the chutneys that actually uh, come with it pilau let's see how this pilau is guys i mean the meat you know the meat is very soft very very tender look at that it's just it just it just tears that's like really really awesome okay now i'm gonna be making my burki i'm gonna add some uh, sauce with it uh, that's the special chutney that i actually serve with it uh, there you go Oh, really, really nice, man. This is like a typical Swahili pilau. Love it with some onions. Nice. I'm telling you, the meat is just falling off. That's how soft it is. See how soft that is, man. I'm gonna add again some chutney in it. Oh, yeah. oh. Wow, good food, man. You know what? The food is good. Look at the view, man.
See, that's the view, man. Good food and awesome view. What else can you ask for? The meat is just super soft, man. I just love this. You know, it's just OP. Oh. Masala is also really, really nice. Let's move on to the chicken now. That's a proper leg piece of chicken loaded with some masala on it. Look at that. Looks like a chicken tikka kind of stuff. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. That's such good food, man. Oh, this is this is actually you know what you call food porn, man. Just eat, 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 and eat. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Really good food. So guys, I'm gonna wash it all down with you know a tamarind juice. Oh, it's so refreshing. For Dali is the place, man. They've got the meals and they've got a view, which is just awesome. All right, guys, For Dali is the place for you. You know, you gotta come and check it out. They've got really, really good food, very affordable as well. And you know, before I leave, I gotta have my daily dose of my Acti Life. I carry my vitamin C, D, and zinc, my three in one dose wherever I go. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and keep it full star powered by Acti Life.